Kia ora everyone, welcome to our very first episode of Pike TV. We'll be releasing regular videos for you guys and we'll be answering some of those curly questions that you sent through, so stay tuned. But before we get into answering those questions, let's introduce you to William, the star of the show. Thank you Esther. Good day everyone, I'm really looking forward to sharing some stories and answering some of your questions. We're coming to you today from this beautiful bush reserve just in our backyard. We're so lucky here in New Zealand, so yeah, let's get into it Esther. So William, you've had the opportunity to introduce yourself to some of our WPCA students yep. out there, um, but for those who don't know you and haven't heard your story, would you yep. like to take us back to 2007 yeah. um, when that volcano of Mount Rupihu erupted? Absolutely. So it was September 2007, I went down to Mount Rupihu with my great mate James and we decided that we were going to go and climb up to the top of Mount Rupihu. So up we went, up the ski field, higher and higher, and we came across this little building called the Dome Shelter, and it was there that we decided to stay overnight. Now we were asleep in our sleeping bags, it was freezing cold, minus eight degrees, and at 20 past eight at night, unbelievably, no one knew it was gonna happen, Mount Rupu erupted, it was crazy. It spewed 600 Olympic-sized swimming pools full of like mud and rocks and water, if you think of that quantity, right up into the air, then it came crashing down on top of Mount Rupu, and burst into the building and crushed my legs. It was horrific. Oh God, right, so you, your leg was crushed. What happened to James? Yeah, that's right. So thankfully, James was uninjured. He kind of moved to the side and he was safe, but my legs, they got absolutely crushed by rocks and the bones kind of were breaking in, the, in this right leg. The flesh was being torn off. I was screaming. It was just, it was unimaginable. It was crazy. Okay, so what happened next? Well, James and I had a really good, a quick discussion in a way on what should we do and we decided the best thing was going to be for him to get some gear on, to leave the dome shelter and to run down the mountain and hopefully save his life uh, and my life. It was, it was James to the rescue. Right, okay, so you were talking through this whole eruption, through yep. everything that was happening, you were yep. pinned to the ground. Yep. 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 What was the last thing that you said to James? Yeah, so as James took off, I said, hold on James, I said, can you please tell my friends and my family that I love them because I didn't know if I was going to see him or anyone else again. I was nervous, I was kind of sad, it was just an awful situation. Yeah. That sounds absolutely terrifying. So our first question today is from Izzy, she's from okay. Diocesan School for Girls, um, and she would like to know, on a pain scale of 1 to 10, how much pain were you in? Yeah, okay, great question. So, uh, Izzy, uh, I was on a pain... I was in pain, let's think 11 out of 10, so way above uh, what I'd ever experienced before. If you think about putting your leg into a hot cauldron of magma, that was what it felt like. It just sent me through the roof, it was terrible. Yeah. Okay, and so you chose to climb Mount Rupiu that day, was there any reason why you chose that particular day? Uh, I don't think I need a reason to climb a mountain, I just <laughs> love that sense of adventure, that kind of thrill of uncertainty and getting up onto the top and being filled with that sense of achievement, so uh, that was enough for me. Our next question is from Sky. she's from Paraparu Umu School. She would like to know what inspired you to climb Mount Rupihu. What inspired me, I think, when I look right back to when I was younger, it was really when I went to the Himalaya mountains with my granddad. I was only 12 years old. It was an opportunity for a lifetime, especially so young, and seeing those great big mountains, coming back to New Zealand, doing some bushwalking, and loving that as well kind of gave me the inspiration to want to take that a step or two further. Well, we're going to leave it there for today, guys. Um, so we've left William in the dome shelter alone, crushed and pinned to the ground. James is running down the side of the mountain, and we're unsure about that rescue attempt yeah. at the moment. And um, so check out our next episode, and we'll learn more about the recovery efforts. Thanks, Esther.